Need some weekend plans? Well, this week's movie preview will surely have you running to your local theaters. And meet the face behind one of Northwest's biggest features on campus. Plus, if you weren't at last night's football game against our little sister Eden, be sure to stay tuned for a recap and some highlights from our Lady Texan Volleyball. All this and more coming up on NHS TV Live. Some of you drive past this larger than life structure every day. But why is it there? Reporter Jesse Cornell has the story on Northwest's windmill and how it came to be. Every day, student and staff drive by the windmill and solar panel, but not many know why they're there. Yeah, I'm, I'm guilty of that. <laughs> for about 10 years, Dr. Ashby has been saving energy and money for the district. My philosophy is, that, you know, if I can control it, I can save money. Over the course of his career here, the energy team has helped lower cost. We all have saved uh, about five and a half million dollars. I'm talking about real money. As for the wind turbine and solar array, they're built mainly for educational purposes. Just to let people see, you know, we, we are environmentally friendly. Although it does help out the electricity bill. Probably every year we'll save about $2,000 on the electric bill. As for future plans, they include bringing the windmill and solar panel to the OLC and changing the district to LED lighting. LED is here to stay. When Dr. Ashby is not working, he's usually taking care of his horses with his wife. I've been raising horses since probably 1980. He has also been running since the 1970s. Oh, probably seven or eight marathons. I ran the Boston finally. At the end of the day, Dr. Ashby just wants to impact the community in a positive way. Just going that extra mile, helping folks. For NHS TV, this has been Jesse Cornell. A group of students do the unthinkable and experiment with their own lives in this week's movie preview. Do you have plans tonight? A group of medical students find their way into a dream world when they stop each other's hearts for research. Midnight basement, sub-level C. What's going on? I would like you to stop my heart. But it begins to look more like a nightmare. The only way to find out is to see for ourselves. Everything seems to be going well for the students as they continue to break through this scientific mystery. Pure energy. I'm going next. Charging 200. It's a good day to die. Clear. Everyone I touch today, I'm gonna heal. It's like a wave came Three minutes. As they begin to push the limits of their lives, their minds begin to deteriorate. Seven minutes. No one's ever come back from that. Was it all fun? Was there anything disturbing? Then things go horribly wrong as they start to become mad. Going crazy. Maybe we open the door. This experiment needs to end right now. This psycho thriller is a must-see and will be one of the scarier films this September. Flatliners premieres tonight in theaters near you. Side effects would show up and start hunting us down. This was my fault. Our Texan athletes have been grinding, and Kira has everything you need to know. Kira, what's up, Texan Nation? This past Tuesday, our Lady Texans played Boswell. It was a really close game the whole time, and although we tried to rally, we would unfortunately end up losing 3-0. The next game is tonight at Eaton at 6.30. Get out there and support your fellow Texans. We had our rivalry football game last night. It was back and forth up until about the fourth quarter, and then a couple minor mistakes would cost us the game to the Eagles. The final score would unfortunately ring 58-44. We're still proud to be our Texans every single day. On a side note, student section, a lot of y'all killed it last night. The passion was there, and it was great. But if you dipped before the game was over or you weren't cheering at all, it's honestly just sad. We need to step it up next game, guys. 
Well, that's all we have for today, Texans. This has been NHS TV Live.